Hey guys, it's Nyla again. Um, okay, let me just start off by saying that this video may offend some people. So if you're easily offended, I wouldn't watch it just because this is my personal opinion. And I'm not intentionally trying to offend anyone. But if someone gets offended, someone gets offended. It happens. Um, what I wanted to talk about today was women who say that they're straight, but at the same time say they want to be with a woman. I just, th that dumbfounds me because... No, you're not straight. I'm sorry. I think that they feel they need that safety net there so that they, they're kind of scared. They don't want to go all the way and say, oh, I'm bisexual. And then you get the girls who aren't even bisexual but pretend they are for attention. Um, and it just gets on my nerves because being, you know, a strong supporter of the LGBT community, it really pisses me off that these girls are basically really scared to come out of the closet. I mean, bisexual is LGBT, so I'm a big proponent for accepting all that fall under that umbrella. And if you're bisexual, you're bisexual. There's nothing wrong with that. Like, I read um, one girl's Facebook, or not Facebook, it was some post on some site that I used, and she was talking about how she, it, it literally started off saying, I'm completely straight, but that's how you know she's not straight. If you feel the need to say you're straight, you're probably not. So she was just like, I'm completely straight, but I'm in love with my best friend, and I really just want to be with her. You're not straight. I'm not saying you're lesbian, you can be bisexual, there's nothing wrong with that. But please accept it for what it is, because you are not straight. Oh my god. And I will even put myself out there that I've been with women, um, both before I decided I was transgendered and honestly after. And I consider myself somewhat, bi I, somewhat, see look at that, I'm doing what most girls do, but I consider myself bisexual. I don't think I would date a woman unless I met a very amazing woman. She would have to be an amazing woman for me to fall in love with her. But I would sleep with one. For fun. I'm young and it's it is what it is. It would be fun. So yes, I'm bisexual because the term the definition of bisexual is to me is when you're willing to have sex with both genders. Not oh, I'll only and I've heard from my female friends that oh well I wouldn't date a girl, so I'm not bisexual. No, you'll sleep with one, you're bisexual. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's just my thought on it. I would love to hear other people's comments. I'm sure I'm gonna get some hate for this, but I mean, come on. And something that really pisses me off is that girls can do that. They can go kiss a girl and, oh, I'm not gay, I'm just having fun, and it's okay. But if a guy were to do that, he's instantly labeled as gay. Not even bi, they skip bi completely, they just go straight to gay. He can't be bi. I've had my straight male friends tell me that they don't believe in bisexuality in males, which infuriates me. That's like the dumbest way of thinking I've ever heard. Just because someone is born female or someone is born male does not determine their sexual desires that has nothing to do with it and i i tried to explain it in the easiest way i know how i like pepsi and i like coke some days i feel like pepsi some days i feel like coke but i don't feel like the same thing every day and that's how i explain my sexuality to them they still didn't get it obviously they're they're thick in the head and it didn't sink in whatever and they still bring it up and it still pisses me off that they're like oh well a guy can't be bisexual why not just because you're not bisexual does not mean that you need to be so close-minded as to not even try to understand the views of other people. Yeah, this is a little bit of a rant. I'm sorry. It just, ugh, God, I hate, like, stupid stereotypes and gender normities, things like that. Being trans, obviously I hate gender normities, but... But yeah, that's all for that rant for now, anyway. Unless you guys want to ask me some questions or some more opinions, I will feel free to leave that, and I will definitely try to answer. Um... Other than that, nothing new has been going on. I've been working like 12 hour shifts at work, so I'm really tired, and I had to work like four days in a row. And things, I had to work Thanksgiving and the day after, and the day after, and today. I think, wait, what's this day? I think that still makes sense. Okay. And I'm off tomorrow. My car, like, I just bought this car, I shit you not, like three months ago. And it wouldn't start. It would not start. I came out of the gym, and it's cold here. It's in, I'm in Washington State, and it's cold outside. And my car wouldn't start. And I was like in little shorts and a t-shirt. I, was, I wasn't having it. So I eventually got my way home. And I called my insurance and got the car, you know, to be towed. So the tow truck comes two days later because it's Thanksgiving weekend. And he asked me to put it in gear. And my car starts. I'm like, are you serious? I still had him take it in just because obviously it didn't start for a reason. And I wanted to figure out why it didn't start. And it kind of upset me because I just bought the car. Because I just got back from out of the country in August. And then I had some money saved up, so I bought a car because I needed one. It's just hard to not have a car, so.
but they're gonna call me tomorrow and let me know what's going on with that and I'll and hopefully I get my car back because it's really depressing not having one as I'm sure a lot of people know so um that's all for now oh my god this is like the longest video I've ever done I'm so excited um so I will see you guys soon and I hope every hope everyone is having a good well it's my weekend but it's not weekend for everyone else well, I hope everyone enjoyed their weekend, or if your days off are to come, enjoy those. Talk to you guys soon.